savings pool of families are no more just looking at post office savings or fixed deposit in banks or in some chit funds they are actively coming into opening of dmat accounts believing in the performance of stock markets that speaks volumes because indian in savings people becoming investors you're talking about a very conservative no harm in being conservative because it's their money hard earned money but conservative savings mindset today looking at opportunities in the stock market understanding the risk it involves because there is trust in the way in which markets have performed and that is a reflection on your performance i just want to highlight that even the mutual mutual fund industry which 10 years ago managed assets worth only 6 lakh crores today stands proud managing assets worth 54.1 lakh crores just 10 years ago persistent flow of domestic savings towards the stock market has actually played one very important role they have become now the counterbalancing force when fpis come and go so they may not be actually any fluctuation despite the whimsical fpi movements indian own savings which are coming from small retail investors is providing the shock absorber for you but what a drastic change in our investment financial market scenario can this be india it is data shows but that mindset that india savings will have to be small savings in post offices and banks alone has not gone away from the minds of our opposition parties but india has moved far away moved far ahead and moved fast forward that's what i want to highlight here is reflective of the market's performance stock market's performance and the trust that they have in today's market's governance structures it's a very precious value it's a precious trust which indians have got in the stock markets it's very very precious for all of us to guard and build from strength to strength i take this opportunity to appeal because i have this captive audience in bsc itself i appeal to you that you work closely with the sebi any unchecked explosion in retail trading of futures and options can create future challenges not just for the markets for the investor sentiment and also for household finances household finances have made a generational shift which i just explained we want to safeguard that we want to ensure that, that that's not going to be shattered we need to have both the bsc and nsc ensuring market stability mitigating systemic risks and making sure that the stock exchanges therefore will leverage technology and adopt blockchain and ai and have big data also to improve market efficiency and transparency and security